Hey everybody, welcome back to Ask This Old Truck. Today we're going to be discussing hitches. The regular fifth wheel hitch with the commercial class 8 hitch that comes on semis. So with starters, we'll just take this. We decided to go with an air hitch. It's a trailer saver 3 or BD3 18,000 GVW. The reason we went with this hitch is it's air ride. It rocks back and forth and side to side. That's giving you more flexibility at your pin box. So if you were going down the road in this thing and you went off on a little bit of a slope, this thing would rock this way or this way. Therefore, keeping your fifth wheel somewhat level. Um, it's not going to keep it all the way level, but it'll keep it some way. And it won't be twisting on the frame as much. This thing has two airbags and it can be adjusted in height up or down with these six bolts here and these six bolts here on this side. The recommended air to be used in these is 60 pounds. I'm still playing with it when we get our uh, trailer full of water, fresh water. 60 pounds is good when we're running with no water in there. I could probably stiffen the bags up a little bit more because we get a little bit of porpoising going on, especially when we go over bridges and stuff. Now, let's talk about commercial plates on a Class 8 semi. You can tow your fifth wheel with one of those. The king pin on your trailer, on your fifth wheel trailer, is the same diameter as the king pin on a commercial trailer. So they will both fit into these jaws. Your fifth wheel fit into this jaw and your fifth wheel will fit into the jaws of a commercial plate. The reason that we did not stick with the commercial plate is flexibility on the frame of the fifth wheel itself. I mentioned that this fifth wheel will rock back and forth this way, where a commercial plate on a semi, class 8, only rocks forward and back. They depend on their frame for this. Therefore, it's going to tweak more on your frame of your fifth wheel than this would here because this rocks. If I'm driving down the road and my semi comes off onto a little bit of a bump and goes this way, this thing's going to stay level as much as it can with the trailer. A commercial plate does not do that. So one of the reasons we decided to switch out the commercial hitch for the air ride hitch, we had done research on converting the semi into an RV hauler and we found that the commercial hitch, because of that lack of flex in it, puts a lot of strain on this part of your fifth wheel. And we had seen pictures of fifth wheels where they had used the commercial plate and had ended up with cracking in the frame right up in this elbow here, right here where you'd see big stress cracks or even a broken frame in this area because that hitch just didn't have enough give for these residential type fifth wheel trailers. So that decision we figured we're, we're protecting our investment and we're gonna give it the best ride we can and that's why we went with the air ride hitch and disposed of that commercial hitch. The other thing too is now the truck doesn't even look remotely commercial and that helps too. Now when we talk about flex in your pin box, we're talking about this. On, the regular, on our fifth wheel hitch, 
it can move back and forth like this or like this with a commercial plate you've got this on there and there's no flex this way it's all in your frame and up in here this thing is twisting itself it doesn't have any give like what we have on the fifth wheel itself okay so we hope that this answered some of your questions this is a really quick video and if you have any more questions give us a call uh, if you have any more questions just leave it in the comments below and uh, we'll try to answer you this is only our opinion you can if you want run with the commercial hitch not saying you can't this pin will fit in a commercial hitch so thanks for watching we'll catch you guys later down the road